right, guys, welcome back to another party session of Mondays with Strahd while we follow five and sometimes six brave souls through this uh, pox ridden land called Barovia as they are hounded by anything from wolves to witches to ghost children to even a house. And uh, I think last week we left off where these guys had uh, sort of stored up, stirred up a hornet's nest in a windmill. And uh, we are going to pick right up with uh, Irina, who had gone missing in last week's session. Irina, uh, we had spoken sort of uh, off camera about what happened a little bit. And you are arriving uh, back to the campsite. And you notice it's kind of hastily abandoned. You do find uh, that your weapons are still left, kind of in the pack roll where you left them uh, before you had bedded down for the night. Um, you hear somewhat of a commotion up a hill where the wind coming from the direction of the windmill, but the fog is kind of thick. And then you hear this high pitched kind of squealy, raspy, just awful sound in old woman's voice. The children, they stole the children. Find them, catch them, kill them. Eat them! And so, uh, yeah, what would you like to do? Well, since... Since there isn't a moment to lose, she grabs her rapier, holsting it to her waist the best she can, donning the quiver on her back and grabbing the bow, and makes a mad dash into the woods. As she does, looking for the source of this sound. All right, so what I need you to do, I'm going to put you on the screen here. And once I put you on the screen, um, I'm going to put you way down here. Uh, did it not work? Can you see your token now? I can most certainly see my. Okay, so that's just so you can kind of see a little bit of what's going on because you're in the distance. I don't want to put you on the, the upper level map as of right now. Of course. Uh, now select your token. And uh, roll initiative for me, please. Oh, hot damn. Nice high roll. Um, so we had started, uh, we had ended last session at the top of the initiative order. So you're running up, you can kind of see this old woman in the distance. Um, and uh, she kind of, it's the same old woman that, that you guys, uh, you can recognize that you guys had bought the pies from in the town. And then... Uh, left left the town before you left the town so um in the distance just through the fog you can see nyla kind of running towards her and um, perhaps a little bit uh near nyla is um chance and hildegard but you don't see any sign of the others and uh you, you're definitely positive that the windmill that's up ahead is where you uh heard that voice coming from so uh that's just the scene nyla what are you up to? Hi. Okay. Um, so how far away is this lady from me right now? I believe when we, we had, when we had left off, I think she was about 60 feet. Okay. Perfect. So, um, also, it, is it pretty clear that everyone could hear those, those old women in the thing screaming? Oh, yeah. She screamed like okay. the, the last thing you had seen was right before the scream was... You were waving at the old woman saying, hi, hi, remember us? And then she she held up her hand like she was waving. Yeah. And then her eyes kind of yeah. shot down to the cart and then it slammed down really hard. And you knew there was a yes. kid there, even though she didn't know you knew that. Yes. You even saw the little, yes. possibly where the little feet were kind of jump when when she knocked the kid out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so there's no point in pretending to be like friendly anymore. Correct. I, okay, sounds good. Um, so I want to... Um, Uh, I want to go, I want to use all my movement and my bonus action to make it to her. Okay, that's fine. Go ahead and move your token down to um, okay. face to face with her. And I would like to, because you said the kid wasn't pinned down or anything. I would just like to snatch the kid <laughs> out of the cart. All right, I'll tell you what, roll a uh, sleight of hand check. Sleight of hand at child. 
Yeah, I never knew I could do this. Okay, I got a 17. All right, so you have a 17. I am going to have her make a, um, I guess just a dex check. Ooh, she's got a pretty high dex. Dang right. it. Just to kind of uh, counteract it, maybe maybe get you guys playing a tug of war with a child. She rolls a 17. <laughs> so uh, what is your dex mod? It's um, five. Okay, so your dex mod is five. So you actually win. So you oh, are able to oh. kind of, she grabs the kid, but she's not able to get a strong enough grip on it. And you just grab the kid by its, um, by its, by its leg and just give a yank and the little toddler comes whipping out. Um, oh, do you need, I, I, I do need one more thing from you. I'm going to need okay. a, uh, let me see what would be an appropriate, just make a regular dexterity check to make sure okay. you don't like slam the kid's head on the ground or anything. Oh no. You're able to kind of catch it. Okay. Just add my mod then. Is that what you mean by the check? Uh, add your, your, no, no, just, yeah, add your dex yeah. mod, sorry. Okay, um, I got a 19. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, that's fair enough. So, yeah, you get the kid, the kid starts to swing to the ground, and you just swing it up, and you've got it cradled in your arms like a babe. So, what do you do next? Um, so that would be my action, right? So, uh, that's your, that's your action, yes. And you use your movement okay. and your bonus. Yes, so, yeah, you're, you're, you're yeah. about done. So, yeah, I, I don't think I can do anything else. All right, so you have the kid. Uh, yes, Arena, you, you see uh, your your uh, companion come up, and she just snatches this this little baby out from under this blanket that's on the top of that cart. And uh, the oh. kid is unconscious, and she's got it cradled in her arms, and she's about to blast off. What do you do? You see the old How many more are in the cart that I can see? Uh, oh. That you can see none. Tell you what, make a perception check for me, please. This All is a right, DM's perception check, so I, I won't make you use it as an action. All right, perception check. Let's see. Yeah, nothing that you can see, no. no oh, kids no. Oh, no. All right, in that case, um... Charging out from the middle of nowhere, like, and quite frankly, dressed like somebody who just ran out of her boyfriend's bedroom wearing an oversized shirt, and might I say, decently covered in blood, uh, she's going to make a charge for the hag and attempt to use the bow to try to grapple the woman as she runs by, like around Ooh. the neck or the hand or the arm, and drag her to the ground. How would you like me to proceed with this action? Uh, this is going to be an athletics check. So you can get your movement. We'll say your movement gets you there and athletics. And then she, I have to roll the strength. That's not a good one. Yeah, so uh, you, you kind of go to grab her and, and grapple her. And she just kind of shoves her away with way more strength than you'd ever expect from a frail old woman. And she looks at you. I don't think so, pretty princess. And, uh, and yeah, she draws her rapier and she's ready to fight. Right. I do believe that's even an action. So. All right. My turn. All right, that's turn. That brings us to Morgatha. All right, so Five. Arena, looks like she's she's coming at the person that she thinks is more of a an armed threat at this point. So she is going to. She points at you. Little blasts of uh, missiles come out. Okay, yes. Magic, Magic missile. So she hits you uh, square in the chest with like these little missiles. Boom, 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 for ten force damage. Irina takes the hit and skids to a three-point landing. She hits him. I'm looking at bonus actions. I'm sorry. I think, yeah, I think that's it. But I think what she's going to do, and this will actually provoke an attack of opportunity from um, uh, Nyla. She is actually, she kind of is glancing after she blasts you with that. She looks between you and she does see Hildegard and Chance up the, the street. 
uh, up the hill. So she she says, bah, and she starts running. So she's going to uh, just thump, 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 um, running uh, uh, like she's running towards the tower. So go ahead and make a attack of opportunity, Rita. Yes. Um, I got a 14. 14. Uh, well, I don't think that hits, actually. I don't know. No, it definitely does not. I would feel so, yeah, better. you swing and she kind of ducks. She's moving faster than a, a woman, a very old woman should be. And she's kind of barreling towards Hildy. Uh, welcome, Yag. All right. So, um, yeah, so far what you're noticing is Arena's kind of showed up uh, uh, mostly wearing nothing but like an oversized male's uh, nightshirt, uh, her belt and, and rapier, and her, her bow and quiver. So, um, and that is Morganta's turn. That brings us to Coleman. All right. So uh, how close is she? Uh, to you, I'd say about 10 feet. Oh, only about 10 feet. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. All right. No, no, uh, no. She, she's, no. She moved to 6, 30, about 30 feet. 30 feet. Okay. I know it's hard on that screen. Yeah, Sorry. No, it's fine. It's fine. Um, all right. So, um, Jace is actually going to be a little surprised that she's running at him. <laughs> she's going, oh, oh, oh. So he, he kind of like quickly pulls um, a, like a chili pepper out of his pouch. And just like pops it immediately into his mouth and just begins chewing. And he's kind of wincing and like fanning his breath. And he looks over and he's like, oh, oh, I swear, this, this will be useful in a moment. Give me a sec. <laughs> well, ain't you a sight for sore eyes? And he's, he's shouting down to Irina. And then, uh, so that was a spell uh, that I begin to cast. Uh, he's going to hiccup and there's going to be some sparks that kind of shoot out from his mouth. <laughs> So he's gonna dragon breath her. You bet. Dex save for half damage, correct? Yes, sir. All right. Um. All right. So she. I'm gonna keep my distance. Okay. I'm gonna run down to Nyla, which I have like 45 feet. You'll be about 15 feet from her with 45 yeah, feet. That's fine. All right, so you, you belch out this flame and it just kind of engulfs her and like she's like, eh! and she's kind of patting at herself and like the, the, the little dress is going up and uh, her, her form starts to kind of, uh, you notice it looks like she's melting. Like you, you, you kind of start to think that she's one and then she's kind of like pawing and clawing at her skin and then she's like, I'm melting, I'm melting. <laughs> And then uh, what you see is um, she, she's kind of turning to look at you as you're running past. And uh, you're going to see this. Her whole form and face and everything has changed. You guys see this. What a beautiful princess. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, wait, you did lightning damage with that, you said? Yeah. All right, cool. How much was your damage? Seven? Okay. Seven points. Good thing you called that because I was like taking those fire damage and with a save, uh, that's like no damage at all. All right, so uh, that is that Chance's turn. That'll do it. All right, that brings us to uh, either Zana or Yag. You guys choose who goes first. Um, I think I know what I want to do. Did you want to go before me, Yog? No, it doesn't matter. Go ahead. Okay. Um, seeing Irina, like, come up with all this appearance, I immediately panic and then look at the ch the changing old woman that turns into a, a hag. And I, still stealthed, I'm going to quickly turn around to the kids and then I say... I need you to hide a little bit more around the the windmill so you're safe. And then I'm going to uh, run out of stealth, um, leaving them still remained in their stealth. However, 
because they're leaving my range of uh, Passive that is traced, they no longer have the plus 10 to them. And I will immediately cast um, Moonbeam on the tag. On Morganta? Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm not sure what it does. You got to clue me in. And the audience. I need her to make a constitution saving throw. However, I believe if she's a shape changer, she has disadvantage, but that doesn't matter. Yeah, double 15s. Um, so she takes half. Okay. Um, half of so 17. So she takes half 17. And that is radiant. Um, that actually might not be half. Because I think she might oh. have... Let me see. She might have a um, weakness to that. Okay. And I believe while she's in the, the light, she cannot assume a different form until she leaves it. Okay. And then as a bonus action, I'm going to turn into a um, direwolf. And I want to get real close to her <laughs> with the remainder of my movement. Oops, you were moving as I was making it bigger. I think I made you too big. <laughs> you get the picture. Oh, I guess that that's the right good. size. Yeah. I will actually not move in close to her. I'll just uh, guard between like the door and like the side of the the windmill. All right. And uh, that brings and that... us. Go ahead. That brings us to uh, Yag. Late, but not too late. It seems. Marvelous. Well, how far away from, well, the hag is he currently? Uh, let's see. She is currently about about 20 feet from the door. Uh, you can get to her if you want. She's about uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30. Uh, she's about 30, uh, 30 feet from you, about 10 feet away from the door. Here, let me move you so you can kind of get a better picture. All right. Okay, Yog is going to start running in her general direction, well, towards her. And as he's running, anyone who looks at him is going to see that he reaches down for the belt, essentially holding up his uh, clothing, and it ripped something off the... And as he's running over, Yog says, Nat Nature, give me strength. As he takes what seems to be a claw of some sort and just pierces one of his ears with it. And as he does that, you see that his previously fairly toned muscles grow less visible. His beard starts growing fuller, and it seems like his teeth, some of his teeth grow longer and sharper. Would you count that as an action, or...? Uh, I'm probably, uh, is he, um, he's taking on his totem, I take it? Essentially, he's taking on the totem spirit of the bear. Okay, um... No, you know what? I liked it. It was cool. It's kind of a little bit uh, 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 descriptive and, and kind of character developing. So yeah, we'll go ahead and call, I'll call that a bonus action. I'd rather call it an action because he can't rage if he doesn't have a bonus action. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, well, then we'll call it an action, whichever you prefer. We'll call it an action and I'll let you have your bonus action to rage. If right. That's what you want to do. <laughs> <laughs> well... And Last time I'm ever be... nice to you guys ever again. You can burn <laughs> Yog. <laughs> In either case, he's going to be moving off to the old Ike. And because he's used to action, he's going to stand behind her and say, Come at me. And that's his turn. 
All right, and uh, that ends Yag's turn. Yag, uh, Hildegard, you see Yag coming a little bit more, a little bit more overweight, a little bit um, hairier, and uh, uh, a little bit of blood pouring from his ear where he drove a, a bear spike through his uh, through his earlobe, stretching it out. And um, that brings us to you. How close is the hag? For uh, the hag is maybe five, like it's within arm's reach. You don't even have to move to get to her. Well, if we're changing appearances now, I guess I'll get a shroud <laughs> right away. All right. So, yeah, my uh, Hildegard's eyes become pools of darkness and skeletons uh, sprout out from. All right. And the chronic shroud. Right, so. Everybody uh, within 10 feet of me do a, a charisma saving throw or be frightened. Damn, this old woman. <laughs> uh, how close do they have to be? Uh, 10 feet. Oh, yeah, you don't have to uh, make it arena. Oh, lovely. Yeah, you guys are about 30 feet back. It doesn't look like that on this page because I'm using a more uh, a more 3D model because there isn't really huge land areas for the outside of the tower here. All right, so what happens if they make their Christmas save? Nothing. They, I, just, I just transform, and it adds necrotic damage to whatever I, uh, whenever I attack. All right, awesome, awesome. Very cool, very cool. So um, uh, you guys down at the bottom um, are watching uh, a couple of your friends sort of, tra actually three of your friends sort of shape shift before your eyes. Uh, Chance, uh, Nyla, and Arena might even feel a little uh, left out on that. <laughs> that, uh, that regard. <laughs> and that brings us to the next hags, which you hear one of them scream, um, we must get closer. We must get closer. And uh, you guys hear kind of a shattering sound from a window, from this window up here. And um, you guys hear a thump as uh, one of them literally tumbles, cracking through um, uh, the various wooden platforms and just, boom, just lands on her back in a heap. She stands up sort of shedding her skin and takes on that same form that her mother has taken on, that kind of old purplish, uh, uh, nasty hag form. And uh, she kind of looks at you guys and she goes, I got it. When Ophelia gets here, you will all die. And uh, she, let me see if she has it. She casts Magic Missile. I actually got to roll damage for her, too, because she did take some damage at Yogg. Yogg, you are hit with 11 points of force damage. And she kind of, okay. like, wiggles her fingers in kind of like a wave, and it just... Poof, 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 poof. A couple of them fly out and slam into you. Yeah, Yogg seems to be less effect affected by that than he should be. Awesome. And uh, the other one is not quite as bold as her sister, so she is moving that this way. All right, so um, you guys can see there's some mo motion on the bottom floor behind the door. Uh, and the other one is about to come out the door as well, but she has no line of sight on anybody. And that brings us to the top of the turn order with Nyla. Okay, um, so my question is, if I'm holding this kid, how, like, how much can I be doing here? Like, how much is this kid going to be hindering me? Uh, roll a d4 for me. Three. Three, um, you, 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 you're gonna have to put the kid down if you really want to do anything. You, besides move. Okay. Nyla, give me the child. Okay, I'll give I'll give the kid to Arena. All right, cool. I'll give that as a bonus action. Thanks. Okay, so 
hand the child, and then I will um, shoot my bow for now. All right, go ahead. Oh, no. I, no, I didn't do it. I got like a 10. Uh, yeah, that's a miss. So the arrow kind of just goes a little bit wide. That or, it, you know, you can probably, uh, it comes close to her and she just kind of smacks it away much faster than um, the old woman she was prior to shifting into the ugly hag. And that would be Nyla's turn, or are you moving it more? Um, no, I'm going to stay where I am for now. All right. Ah, uh, and you see Nyla hand the baby over, over to you, Arena. She fires an arrow, missing her opponent, and that brings us to your turn. All right. I take the child, gently cradled in my arms. I put it to the ground, only temporarily. And I take an arrow carefully from my quiver, praying, praying that my shaky hands and the heaving of the bosom just doesn't miss the target. And I whisper to the point of the arrow, and I cast Hunter's Mark on the hag between Hildegard and Yog. And as I creak back the string of the bow, I leash it. Let's see. Hunter's Mark. And hopefully... So Hunter's Mark adds that six to uh, the, the attack, is that right? To the damage. To the damage, okay. All right, so unfortunately, like the, the 15 comes a little bit closer, but it kind of thunks into her, her thick uh, hag skin, and the arrow kind of jitters there for a moment, and then she shakes, and it just kind of falls to the ground, uh, not piercing her uh, steely flesh. Irina hisses once more. Happy she hit her mark this time, but... To no effect, she takes the child in her arms once more and slowly shifts backwards to some distance. All right, and so... she calls to the others as she moves. She says, take the child here. This is much too dangerous. All right, so the child, I, I, I'm going to let you pick it up, uh, but your movement would be half, so you'd only get about 15 feet. Yeah. What are the spaces? Are the spaces greater than five? The spaces are five, but we're kind of going theater of the mind right now because of the, uh, the positioning. But I'm just kind of making more of a mental note for myself and for you as well on that. Of course, that I shall stay here. All right. And that brings us to uh, Morgantha's turn. She says, yes, yes. My daughters and my sylph are stronger together. And um, she begins to cast a spell. All right, so I need um, Yog to make a wisdom saving throw. She looks at Yog and <laughs> says, right. "Hold still, deity." And uh, yeah, you don't uh, you don't make it, and right now you are paralyzed. Because she cast hold person on you. Unless you have some kind of um, uh, resistance to that. No. All right. And uh, she is going to risk an attack of opportunity from uh, Hildegard as she moves closer to the door, almost like she's trying to get inside of her home. Go ahead and swing, should you like, Hildegard. On the swing. Mm-hmm. You can do a melee attack. Uh, that's a hit. 19 hits. Six. And is there necrotic damage too? Yes, there's also... We'll just check. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's equal my level. So she has uh, three, uh, four, I'm sorry, four uh, necrotic damage. All right, so the axe kind of bites into her skin, and uh, it doesn't look like it's getting through, but then, like, that little surge of that uh, dark magic goes through and, and, like, pumps into her, and she goes, ow, as she kind of scampers away, arches her, arches her elbows back. And um, 
That ends her turn. That brings us to Coleman. All right. Um, Coleman will glance over. Glad to see your aim's back. And uh, <laughs> he's going to... Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. She has to make a con. Concentration. That's a... Con save is um is for concentration, right? Uh, what's the DC? Yeah. Yes, yes. It's either yeah, it's a teammate. It's yep. a ten or half the damage, whichever's higher. Got it. Um, okay, so uh, this is kind of theater of the mind here because it's all over the place. Um, I think Colin's going to try to run in and catch as many people in a fifteen foot cone as he can, but he also doesn't want to get right next to him. All right, that's fine. Uh, with the dragon's breath thing. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, yeah, just go ahead and uh, it's it's easy enough. So go on in there and you can catch them all because they're all like cluttered around the door at this point. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll rush right up there. Um, and as I'm running, I'm kind of drawing my uh my dagger. I have an actual dagger and then kind of the uh, the rune wood like the drift one, uh, in my left hand. And this one is just going to dragon breath. So the first night hag fails. Se that's the one that's outside right now. Second night hag. Ooh, two failures. Uh oh, my rolls are going down right. the tubes. And then uh, now for Magamba. She has a little bit different stats, so. No, all three of them fail. So all three of them take 12 lightning oh. damage. You just kind of, you guys see Chance come up and just. Kind of like open his mouth and and just bolts yeah, it's lightning. Like, just... It's like a hiccup at first, and then it just is this like booming thunderous clap of like uh, thunder and lightning. Awesome. And uh, if I've got any extra space, I'll dart away. But otherwise, I guess I'm gonna. And let her make another con a concentration check. Hold lamb. Ah, uh, she made it. So poor Yag is still stuck in place. Ah, uh, that brings us to um, Zana. Okay, so as she moves from the the flickering pale silver beam of light, I howl into the air, howling at the moon, and then I shift as an action my moon back backwards to Mariana. <laughs> I can move it 60 feet as an action, and I need her to make another constitution saving throw. Uh, can Morgantha, another con? Yeah, another con, please. 22. 22? Okay, yeah. so it's still half damage. And what was the, uh, what's the damage on it? I... I'm doing that right now. Oh, okay, cool. That's another save that she needs to make. Yeah, it's still a con for me. So she takes uh, 14 half to 7. And okay. I need her to make another constitution saving throw to maintain that spell. Oh, look at that. My rolls came back out of nowhere. <sighs> I'm going to take my movement and then go right up next to um, Morgana's sister. Okay. And that will be the end of my turn. Awesome. All right, so that brings us to Yag. Uh, I think actually you don't get a save anymore, do you? It's it's until he, it's until it wears off, right? No, it's a save on the end, the end of each turn, I believe. Uh, Fairly sure, hold person is, if that's what yeah, we're talking I think about it here. Is. Yeah. Yep, wisdom saving throw. For the duration. End of its turn. Duration end of its turn target. Yep, at, on, on the end of its turn. Yep. All right, so go ahead and make your uh, save. Or not. Oh, no, Jeez. Oh, no. There's your big tank kind of just staying in there like a bump on a log. And that brings us to uh, Hildegard. I'm going to. I'm going to cast Sacred Organtha. Okay. So that's a dexterity saving. Oh, she fails. Hey. Let, me, let me make a uh, con save real quick. Good. 
Go ahead and roll damage too for that, please. So seven radiant or necrotic. All right, she made her con concentration. So four. All right, Magantha is not looking good, you guys. You can tell that she's really soaking up a lot of the damage you throw at her. <coughs> but all of the little extra stuff that um, uh, is being pumped into her is, is really starting to nickel and dime her down to uh, down lower and lower and lower. Now what you guys see is this one comes out as well, and they do kind of push Morganta in the in the door behind them. And that's that one's Does that action. trigger attack opportunity for me? Yes. So as a war caster, I can attack with a spell. So I'm already maintaining a spell. So I'm going to use my action to move my moonbeam on her again. So I need her to make another constitution saving throw. Whoa! Gersh. Uh, 12. Uh, so she fails the, the damage save. It's DC cool. 14, right? Yeah. All right. So she fails that. And then her con save. Seven damage. Uh, she, she's still... Holding poor Yogg captive, though. Okay. That was your action. All right, so the one is, first thing that happens is the one points at uh, the, the moonbeamer and uh, gives a little wave, oh, just whoa. like her sister before that. I lost my character sheet on my 15 tabs I have open. Here we go. Uh oh, they're they're close. Uh, this one actually like she's waving and you just see a lot more of these little bulbs of light, just like an endless like way more than the others have, have sent out before coming out of your oh, your direction. Uh, so you you hit with eleven force damage. Okay. Three, four, like oh, I'm sorry, 14, 14 yeah. yeah. 14 total. Okay. And uh, the other one actually claws out at Yog, who is uh, currently helpless. And rolls a natural one. She somehow manages, oh no, he's helpless with an advantage, so. Oh no. So yeah, oh, yeah. it does hit. Uh, it's Yog. also an alter crit, because he's paralyzed. Yeah. So uh, let me roll that. Uh, what's the damage on that? But you're raging, so it's half damage if it's uh, splashing. Yeah, I think his I think his rage ended though. Cause he yeah, I was thinking stuck. that too. No, I got hit by a uh, magic missile. Oh hooray! Oh well, good. <laughs> just this angry, mad, paralyzed. <laughs> you guys can see Yag. It looks like he's a guy there, just stuck. Like he's got one vein popping out of his forehead. His eye is kind of twitching um so yeah you take uh six plus nine half half yeah i just leave that to you guys to know what you're you know i'll tell you what the damage i do right. is and you guys do it your own way yeah. and that ends their turn brings us to the top of the turn order with nyla okay um so Wait, where's, where's that main old lady? She went inside. You can't see her now. <gasps> oh, she went inside. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed that. I don't know. Okay. Hmm. Are the other two outside? Yes. It's like they came out to protect their mother. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I will uh, cast. I'll use my bonus action to cast uh, Hex. Uh, so you see her like just sort of like move her hands really quickly and um, this this black like misty stuff just sort of um, just shoots out of her and flies at um, one of the sisters. Um, is there one that's a little more hurt than the other? Uh, no, they actually look both, they've both been hit a little bit, but they, they look to be doing pretty well, both of them. Okay, I'll just do the one next to Yogg. I'll hit that one. Uh, 
one um, with hex. Uh, so that means I can deal an extra d6 necrotic damage if I hit it with an attack. Sure. Um, and then also I can choose an ability when I cast a spell and they have a disadvantage on ability checks made. Um, so I'll, I'll do constitution. Okay. Very good. And yeah, so I'm going to, now I'm going to shoot it, shoot with my bow. That same person. Oh my gosh. Guys, I'm not rolling good today. I got a 13. I don't think I hit. Yeah, no, the, the arrow just kind of whips past and, and clatters against the uh, the outside of the windmill. Okay, well, I did it. It's all done. All right, so you're not moving or anything. You're just kind of hanging back. Yeah, I sort of look. Yeah, like, I sort of, like, look between Arena, who's, like, saying we need to go and looking at Yogg that is frozen and just she doesn't she doesn't really seem to know what to do all right very cool i like the indecisiveness too it's very uh i think very in character for someone who was kind of a waitress before all this started happening <laughs> yeah <laughs> what does so, this mean i don't know <laughs> all right yep. so that brings us to uh irena irena she she fusses with her shirt a bit and tears off half of one of her sleeves Nyla, I need a tinder twig. Do you have one? Fire something. Oh, what What did she say? A what? A tinder twig. Fire something. Oh. Something to light. Uh, let's see if I have something. She begins to wrap an arrow as she talks, and she's glistening with sweat. This woman, she wraps this arrow. Now she tucks it under. I have a tinderbox, yeah. Does that work? Can yeah, I, that'll like, work. Can I toss it, it to her or something? Yeah, um, I'm assuming you're trying to make a flaming arrow. That's correct. All right, so I'm gonna. Get, this is gonna be your whole action to go ahead and get everything you needed and get it ready. So next more turn. Than happy to... What's that? I'm more than happy to take it. Yeah, yeah, you can definitely take it. I, and again, just getting everything from Nyla. Uh, Nyla's saying she has it. By the time you know, again, that's kind of non-important stuff by the time she gets it out and uh, you wrap everything and get it set up. Yeah, you're absolutely able to get the arrow ready to fire for next round. With the last of my kids, I say, Nyla, if there are other children, gather your friends. We need to get out. Uh, you cut out in half of what you said. Oh, sorry. Could be no, my, you're good. You know, <laughs> I'm forced. Nyla. Gather your friends. We need to get out of here with what, what you have captured from that place. She notions to the child beneath her. Okay. Um, I'll say there's other kids too. Yeah, Irina didn't know about the other kids. Yeah, I'll say we got we got a couple other kids. Are they inside? Uh, no, outside. They're under the sea. Them, yeah. Ready is the arrow. And ends her turn. All right, that brings us to Morgantha, who is moving inside. I'll be nice to you. Ten. <coughs> Ten, twenty. Thirty. Thirty-five. Forty. Five. All right. Um, Arena and Nyla, what are your passive perceptions? Fifteen. Passive per twelve. Okay, so uh, uh, Nyla, uh, up in the window, uh, right up here, right about where the other hag broke out because the window is broken out, you see some kind of motion up in there as if either something else is up there or maybe um, you can't quite make out what it is or maybe that's where Morgantha went to, but you can't see it. It's just a kind of a brief flash. So it's not like they're still standing there. It's like we just saw, like I just saw someone like passing by. Yeah, you saw someone passing by in that top window, yes. And okay. That, that brings us to the end of Morgantha's turn. And uh, where's my turn order? There it is. Uh, it brings us to the beginning of Coleman's turn. All right. Um, Coleman is, uh, he, he's going to um, kind of get like right on the, the side here of the, uh, the tower and 
since now everybody's kind of a little closer, he's going to have to basically strike the face of this windmill, um, kind of hoping that the lightning scoots along the edge of it. So he's trying to catch these two women right on the edge of his cone. Uh, okay, yeah, that's fine. So it's a dex check, right? Dexterity saving throw. All right, so we're going to go left to right. Natural 20. Ah, shit. Next one. 14. And my save is 14, so it means it beats it. All right, so that one. So it has to meet the save? I thought it had to beat it. No, I guess it meet it, meet or beat, yeah. No, it meet it, yeah. All right. All right, so um, what's the damage? 10 foot? The damage ten, is 10, 10 lightning damage. Halved, okay. Um, as he kind of like coughs and <clears throat> sputters, looks back at Hilly and says, where'd she go? The other one. She must have gone inside somewhere. She's inside the house. The windmill. Sorry, she said wind. And uh, he's going to curse and dart around the side, uh, kind of on the backside of the, the windmill, and look for potentially a way up. All right, you can move yourself based on how you see there. That would count as your, like, yeah, move as many as your movement would allow. And something you notice is right here, you see these two children climbing over the edge of the precipice, like giggling and laughing as they climb. They're starting to climb down. That's, that's your turn. <laughs> that was 100% why I uh, asked Donna what I asked you. Uh, uh, you actually smell that. You smell the kids kind of getting more distant. Um, uh, a little bit distant. <laughs> so, yeah, that's 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 what your turn starts as the children starting to get a little distant, climb down the, the side of the cliff. Okay, that, so I'm going to um, howl again, bringing the the moonbeam back outside, and I'm going to put it on the one who attacked me with the magic missile. All right. I need her to make a constitution saving throw. She's a shape changer. She has disadvantage. So that's an, it is a shape changer. So they're at 11. So they miss it. 13 radiant damage. Yeah. 13 radiant. And then I'm going to start moving behind. I will provoke a tackle opportunity though. So you're trying to move, um, Towards the kids. Okay, gotcha. Uh, so one of them will get an attack of opportunity. The first, let me move you to just, you know, to the side of the map. So that's where, you know, the door is. This other one. I'll tell you what I can do. I can copy this. Paste. So we're going to say you were right here. All right. So All right. you're going to run past uh, this one. It'll provoke an attack of opportunity. Uh, that is a... I'll probably great... get Because I have 50 foot movement. I can probably get right to the children. Sure. All right. So, My AC uh, is... She hits me. Yeah, she hits you. 15 slashing damage. Okay. She kind of reaches out. No, you don't, puppy. And she claws at you. I snarl and grit my teeth at her in response. You just keep on moving. And is that turn? Yeah, I keep on moving. All right. So... Uh, that brings us to Yog. If you want to make your save. Uh, you uh, I was. Well, I was. Um, I was actually wondering if that even works anymore. If she left. Oh yeah, you know what? I think it's anymore. line of sight. I think it would eventually. I... Let me see. Is it line of sight? Well, I don't know because it says like originally. I looked at the spell because I was curious. It says if you choose a humanoid that you see within range. And then that's when you start the spell, but it doesn't say anything afterwards. So I don't know if that means. See, it says paralyzed for the range. duration. So uh, up to one minute. So uh, I'm thinking duration. I think she saw him, she paralyzed him, so he's still making his saves. Yeah. Usually, okay. if it's okay. like, if you run out of distance, like things like Witch Bolt, it'll say it in the text. Oh, okay. So poor Yog is still. Uh, sorry, Yog. Sorry, Yog. Yaga's having a rough, rough start to the sesh. And that brings us to Hildegard. 
Okay, I'm gonna cast a uh, guiding bolt on that's closer to Yog. All right. Ah, damn it. Yeah, that's a um, that's a miss. Shit. Okay. Uh, I'm going to move. I'm gonna move about. I'm not gonna move actually, I'm just gonna go back there. Try to move it anymore. Okay. And is that turn? Yeah, so, yeah I'm just gonna stay there. Alright, so that brings us to their turn. Seeing two different people dart off in different directions. Um, Bella Sunbane is going to run around. Uh, 10, 15, 20. You're going to watch this one. She kind of goes over here and then darts around the side of the, the building. And she is going to attack Chance. Ouch. She's kind of reaching at, out with her claws. That's a hit. Uh. 16 slashing damage. This one. You notice the same thing with the other one. It kind of goes around the side and disappears the other direction. You, you three see that? Um, with her movement, she just gets in range of the, uh, the wolf. It's like the wolf was charging after and she reached at it and pulled it and <coughs> She's, she's coming after it again. That's a hit. Uh, ouch. I drop out of wild shape into my normal form. So let me subtract the damage first. So I take five damage from the remainder. So can you resize me back to small? Yes. And I'll reside you in a favorable direction. <laughs> Thank you. That's very generous and kind of you. <laughs> uh, actually, speaking of generous and kind, since poor Coleman didn't get a uh, a long rest like everybody else did, I'm going to go ahead and give you inspiration right now. Just because. All right. I maintain concentration. Okay, cool. And that is their turn. That brings us to top of turn order with Nyla. Um, okay. Everyone's spread out pretty quick now. Um, so how far away am I from all these people running around now? Uh, at this point, um, you're about 60 feet from the front of the door. So you could dash to the door to get to the tower, and then uh, it's probably about 30 or 40 feet of more movement to get around to the backside. Okay. Um, so, like, if I if I went to um, if I went to the the back, I don't. I probably couldn't make it in all my movement. Yes, correct. Okay. Uh, I'll. I guess I'll say. Um, I think I saw movement up at to the top of the tower. Uh, but I don't really know what to do right now. And she's like, kind of like flailing around, like sort of panicking. But she will run up at least. I'll just use most of my movement to get up to where they are. Um, I just be like, what are we supposed to do? I don't know. And uh, can I see if I can see um, it, if I see more movement up in the top? Uh, you can make a perception check. That would be your action. Okay. I think I'll do that. I actually have a thing. Uh, I can actually do a, because of my inquisitive rogue feature, I can use that as a bonus action. Oh, okay. That's fine. Yeah, um, go ahead. Um, I got a 14. 
Okay, you can see that uh, it looks like the old woman, like she's kind of trying to position herself at like a corner over here. And she's looking down at you guys and she's looks like she's preparing a spell, like she's got some kind of uh, oh. components in her in her hand and she's grinning from ear to ear usually. Ha ah, can I shoot her? Uh, yeah, actually, window? yeah, go ahead. Yes. It is going to be a plus it. two to uh, to her AC because of the cover. Okay. Okay. I'll be like, oh, she's up there. She's got to shoot a spell this. No, God. <laughs> I rolled a three. No, I didn't do it. So she just kind of, she shoots there. She pulls her bowstring back and just doesn't pull it back far enough. It kind of tinks out and the arrow just kind of soars harmlessly like six feet in an, in an arch and clatters against the yeah. wall. And uh, that brings us to Arena. All right. Um, let me see. Before I shoot this arrow of fire, Irina is going to point to the door and cast, let me see, what is it called? ensnaring strike i believe so to use it to not necessarily capture someone but to stop the door from opening does that make sense yeah yeah that's fine you're trying to hold that's actually pretty cool to hold the door shut yeah that's right all right so you're just like you're trying to light on fire and Basically, I'm going to burn down this disgusting little bakery that they have yes. going on. Mothers oh, inside like will that. burn. <laughs> That's great. That's cool. I don't know. I don't know, Chance. I think she might have you beat. Might have uh, um, good old uh, what's his name, uh, Rowan beat Rowan. for for creativity <laughs> during this fight. Uh, we'll tell you all about that after this whole thing is over. But I'm honored. Anyways, because this is not an attack on a person. I don't think I necessarily need to roll for it. I right. cast Ensnare Strike on the door, which is the second first level spell I have of three at my disposal. Mm -hmm. That is my action. My movement That's is actually a death. bonus action. Ensnare Ensnaring Strike is a bonus. Oh, all the better. Using my movement, I gently draw back my arrow, aim high for the withered, decaying fans of the windmill, breathe, and fire. All right, so I'm going to uh, just go ahead and roll. Uh, roll a, just roll an attack roll. Oh, that's definitely a hit. Nice. You hit the fans. Yes. <laughs> and um, they definitely do ignite. They're, they're starting to spin, and they're spinning not super fast, though, because it's not like it's uh, um, a, uh, they're, they're, it's not like it's made of, uh, it's not like it's windy, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Sorry, I'm thinking of 20 different things at once. But yeah, it's not like it's windy. So yeah, they definitely ignite. Absolutely this... perfect. That ends my turn. All right, and that brings us to Morganta. You, you, um, she kind of glances back over her shoulder. So it's the, the, the fans are on the backside, so she doesn't notice. She kind of glances back over, over her shoulder, uh, and, and her eyes grow big as she's looking out the uh, back window. And what's going on? And she says, Bah! Martels! And then she kissed. Hold on, I want to look at the range on something real quick. about those crickets huh yeah no, right you know the things that i hate worse than the world if there was one thing that you know I, I don't like to even kill ugly spiders but i cannot stand crickets i hate crickets they're awful oh, really? yes <laughs> terrible creatures oh. <laughs> well don't come to california oh there's plenty where i live too that's why i hate them <laughs> um i know a lot of people eat them but 
Oh, good heavens, no. Yeah, not, not about that. Alright, so I am doing a quick measurement, guys. Things might go very bad very quick, but I, I it could be... No. Spells, don't hold back, man. I'm don't not. Uh, I've got to do a measurement. And we're, the best part is... Oh, no. All right. All right, so for the three in the front of the building, uh, let me make sure I'm reading this all the way through because it's a dangerous one. All right, I need deck saves. Um, I don't know what happens to Yogg being paralyzed. So what happens? He fails he automatically. All right. Oh, so I mean, is it from who? From Yogg. Uh, I need a deck save from Nyla and from Hildegard. And, uh... Uh-oh. <laughs> that's, that's not great. Ooh. Okay. Not ideal, Hildy. <laughs> Could be better. So, um, oh, no. yeah, I'm pretty sure Yogg uh, might be going down here. That is 52 points of lightning damage as it blasts wow. out from the upper window and arches from Yogg to Nyla to Hildegard. Who failed? Um, we all. Why is it 52? I it says 10d8. That's the spell. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Um, I'm I got down. a 23. Oh, really? Okay, so Nyla got 23, so Nyla, you only take half. Yeah. Hildegard okay. is on the ground. Okay, okay, okay. Right. Oh, we all have good berries. Remember that. That's true. <laughs> right, so Yogg, you're, Yog, you're down too, correct? Yogg is still standing if I didn't kind of turn in correctly, because it... Ha a whole turn hasn't passed without him being attacked, as far as I oh, understand. Oh, wow. Very cool. Very so this cool. Is lightning damage. Lightning damage. And he's still a very tight and barbarian. Yeah, so as of this, this session. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Awesome. I, I, dude, I, I, you guys have no idea. I don't pull punches, but like I literally, like my heart was in my stomach rolling that. I was like, God, this is awful. I hate doing this, but like. You know, that's, that's what you guys sign up for when you play D&D, &D, man, is, is the danger. That's right. So, um, so yeah, uh, everybody knows what damage they took. Hildy, you do go down, right? Yep. All right, and that was Morgantha's turn. Um, so you hear this cackle <laughs> in, in your ears coming, just echoing all around this place. As you guys, uh, on the, around the back side of the building, hear this horrible... <laughs> Thunderclap. Um, and with that, that brings us to that Coleman's turn. Right, um, <laughs> Coleman is squared up uh, with, with this witch. And so she just clawed at me. And he's, he reaches back with like an open hand and just charges some lightning in his, in his open palm. And just boom, tries to collide it with her chest. Uh, I'm going to cast a shocking grasp. Great. Is that, that's a hit, right? That's a roll to hit, correct? I'm actually going to use my inspiration on this to give me advantage, which then gives me elven accuracy, so I have triplet. All right. All right, so 23. 23 definitely hits. All right. <laughs> There's a snaps her in the chest, and he, like, convulses her. He's like, two can play at that game. So she takes eight points of damage and cannot take reactions. So I'm going to go five. And like, as as Coleman shocks her and leaves her like convulsing, he he kind of limp dashes around the corner. So he's like holding his 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 hip and his side that have been gashed open, and he just sees like his friends on the ground. Um, and he kind of sighs and puts his hand against the stone, but then keeps moving. And I'm gonna go inside, so I have thirty five 
40. And like as he kind of like steps inside the windmill, you can't uh, go he turns inside. Back and gives. Oh, is it? Is, I can't. No, she has it blocked with the uh, with the ensnaring strike. Ensnaring strike. Yes, ensnaring there strike. are thorns blocking the door. Oh, jeez. Um. <laughs> What, does that make it difficult terrain, or does that just straight up lock the door? The door is locked. It was kind of a. I was letting her get do do some creative uh, uh, role no, play fine. during the uh, during the session there. So yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. Nyla was then, shouting uh, about how you can see her in the window, though. I don't know if you were like trying to find her or something. Yeah, she's like a little I, out of out of reach, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I'm just. Oh wait. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, never mind. So he's just kind of slumped against the uh, against the tower here, breathing heavily, bleeding heavily. That I believe is his turn. All right. Uh, yeah. All right. That brings us to uh, Zana. Uh, Coleman reaches out at kind of like a little baby thunder, a uh, little baby sound, uh, and electricity. In comparison to what um, uh, Morganta threw out of the top window, but you hear that, and then he just kind of disappears around the back side. As he's like going around the side, I was like at the beginning of like saying out to him, um, seeing how he's out of range of my bonus action healing words, so I can't heal him now. <laughs> I'm going to immediately turn to the children and say, run as fast as you can. I'll try to hold them off. And then I'm going to use my action to uh, look over to the, the one closest to me. And then I say, I will make sure you're going down. And then I'm going to have her make a constitution saving throw for Moonbeam. All right. 13? Uh, she failed. All right. 11. 11. And then as a bonus action, because I have two, I'm going to turn into an... Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to turn into another dog, and I'm, I'm going to go under her freaking face. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> All right. That's my turn. <laughs> All right. Uh, Yag, let's see uh, what you got. No, please, Yag. Oh, very good. <gasps> oh, Sorry, yes. finally. <laughs> All right, Yag, you can react. a little shock of lightning. <laughs> I bet As I he know finally what breaks free do. from the spell, well, that's the end of his turn, but as he breaks free, he's going to look up at the window, and he's going to spit some blood on the ground, and go, <laughs> that's all you got. <laughs> oh, I love it, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and uh, that's the end of Yogg's turn. Uh, Hildegard, let's see that death save. Make it a good one. Oh. Yep, and there we go. Hooray! That's one. <laughs> That's one success. Awesome. All right, so that brings us to uh, their turn. And they're kind of in feral form now, and um, but they do see the flaming um, building. So I'm trying to think, what would a night hag watching their mother burn in a coven do? Um <laughs> Uh, burning up, burning uh, out. So. The things we think about in D&D. 20. All right, so this one is going to is coming around, and um, you see this one kind of run back around, and it sees Yag. It's she sees Yag spit on the ground, and um, and uh, you, you guys you can see Coleman right here, and uh, the the woman coming around right here, just so you guys know. Actually, here, I'll do it one better. I'll just move Coleman here, and then her here, so you guys can kind of see the positioning. Yeah, that makes sense. She's gonna, she's gonna swing. She reaches out with her claw. Does a 14 hit. That is a miss by one. Oh, boy. Oh. Yeah, because I was gonna say that damage is probably gonna take you down. Caught his coat, just barely. Uh, this one is it's gonna stay in it's gonna um it's going to risk an attack of opportunity 
and uh, go ahead and roll an attack of opportunity on it. It's trying to climb the um, the side of the building. You can see it. It like kind of digs its steelish claws into the side, and it's reaching for the thing above it. Mother, mother, no, mother, you must get out, mother. Forecaster, <laughs> All right. <laughs> That is a death deck save, or am I just crazy concept? It's a constitution save. I've only done it like 17 times now, so <laughs> you think I'd, I'd, I'd figure it out. Uh, fail. Fail. <laughs> Seven radiant damage. <laughs> All right, so she takes it, but she needs to make now an athletics check. She's trying to climb up. She's still moving pretty fast up the, up the side of the um, building. Okay, yeah, she gets up. Um, it's not really easy for me to show it, uh, but she's up about ten able feet to now. Show it on the main. Okay. I'll, I'll show where, I'll, where you guys can't see her, but that's the level she's on. So you guys know. I, I think. I think that. Uh, I think Zana gets it. I get it, <coughs> and I can still reach her. <laughs> and she's like, nah, and she's still climbing up, and that brings us to. Um, uh, that's their turn. She actually, no, she, let, she gets to move a little bit more. It's half movement, so she, no, not really. That, that would be too much. All right, that brings us to, um, yeah, uh, that was their turn. Top of the turn order was Nyla. Um, if I give a good berry to Hildy to wake her up, is that my action? Yes. Okay. I will do that. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> And um, I guess uh, I will kind of, I don't know. Can, um, can I attack with an offhand as a bonus action? Or no? I, I just, I think the dual wielding you just attack like normal correct i just, just don't one of them doesn't add uh the, the yeah. bonus damage uh -huh. yes yes if it's a weapon with the light weapon property like yeah. a dagger you could but i believe you have to take the attack action to trigger it yes oh really okay so never mind then i think that's all that's all i'm gonna do Right, so uh, uh, I'll try to I'll try to call. Do I see the kids from here? Uh, no. I don't. Okay. Never mind. Uh, and that that's turn. Yep. All right. Um, you see everybody kind of moving up. You see uh, Nyla bending down to uh, feed her friend a uh, a good bearing, and she kind of helps her sit up. Uh, she's still mm -hmm. she's still on the ground, but uh, not not standing. Uh, you see Yogg spitting blood on the floor. You see this lightning bolt just come out and fry your friends right in front of you, Arena. What are you up to? Is that a witch outside the windmill that I see as well? Yes, right next to Coleman. Hmm. Judging by how strong they were, mm -hmm. I'm going to say... Ooh, I don't have a lot of options here, but I'll try it. Using my final first level spell, I'm going to try to use Ensnaring Strike on the hag in front of everyone. All right. Let me see. Ensnaring Strike. Um, why is it like that? Oop. Wait, is this one of those things that I need to? So what will happen is, is when you do it, it's concentration. So the Found one it. that's on the door, there we go. So I think the one that's on the door will go away. Oh, wait, it's concentration. Oh, in that yeah. case. Mm, I'm going to have to. All right. Don't even All right. All right, so you're going to go ahead and roll a hit. Mm. 
Actually, I changed my mind. I'm just going to attack her. Okay, go ahead. Come on, Bo. Come on, Bo. Oh, wait. Actually, instead of hitting her, I'm going to spend my turn making another fire arrow. Okay, that works. I'll tear the other sleeve. That ends my turn. All right. Indecisive. Arena, yeah. Arena's, Arena's newer to the group, and plus this is a tough fight, so I'm giving you guys a little leeway as far as uh, decision-making today. Um, Thank you. Next is, um, so Arena's not going to have any clothes left. She keeps tearing off bits of her shirt for too much longer. <laughs> um, and Oops. That, that brings us to Morganta, who is, um, uh, with your sense of hearing, it's very easy for you to hear, Zana. You hear this, ah, ah, ah! Get out my home! And you hear this thump, 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 boing, like some somebody running across wooden floor and jumping on out like a spring bed, and then the sound of uh, glass shattering, and then crash, thump, and Morganta lands on the ground right next to you. Uh, oh, not, she she does take some damage, and I uh, and then let me roll that actually. Ten. What it fully damages. It's D8 per 10 feet or D10 per 10 feet? Uh, Technically, it's like six, I think. Yeah, yeah. per square, I think? It's per, per 10 feet of dropping. Hmm. All right, so she jumps out. She kind of catches a little bit of the uh, the flames. But you can you guys can see that the topmost part of this windmill, these things have burnt down, and the topmost part of the windmill is starting to catch as well. Uh, it's having a little bit of trouble, like burning the stone, obviously, but you guys know from being inside, there's plenty of wood and paper and, and flammable materials inside. So Morganta jumps out the window and lands on the ground next to you. That was too long. Uh, it's so we're going to go ahead and call that her action, her turn. Okay. And that brings us to uh, Coleman. All right. Um, Coleman just barely dodged out of the way of this woman. Um, but do I do I hear the glass shatter? Um, what's your passive perception? Ten. You don't hear anything. You can make an active perception, but that would take your action. Reality, there wouldn't be much reason yeah. for you to say that, to even try to make the listen okay um okay i am going to um uh, try to uh, once again i think he's gonna kind of like sidestep a little bit um like he's trying to glance up and see if anybody's in the window he's not trying to get out of her range though um and i'm going to uh once again, breathe lightning on, on this girl. So that's a deck save. All right. Natural one, so they failed that one. <laughs> 13. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Bland. This one's the one that seems to be the, the mo in the best shape out of all of them. Right. Uh, like, she seems to be the one that's picking on the, the smallest of the group, but not necessarily the smallest, but... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, uh, he's definitely, like, lightly armored. And he's uh, um, looking around. I think I think kind of seeing the carnage that was out here, uh, Chance is going to pretty much hug the wall as best as he can and try to stay out of range of anybody at the window. Okay. And that's turn? That will be... All right, and that brings us to the uh, the quick question. Yes. <laughs> Is she prone? I'm sorry. Is she prone? Morganta, yes. Okay. So what happens is I'm like cornering this climbing wo woman on this tower, and I'm just like snarling beneath her. Then I just hear like, like plop, and right next to me. Then I just sort of like cock my head backwards, looking at her prone body, and then I just. Smile with the widest grin a wolf can make, <laughs> and then I will lunge at her with advantage with my bite attack. All right. <laughs> so that's uh, 
1d20 plus 5. I have advantage, though. Does a 17 hit? 17 on Morganta does hit. Cool. So she's going to take uh, 2d6 plus 3 piercing damage. 1, 2, so 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 piercing, and I need her to make a strength saving throw for me. Well, she's already prone, so she doesn't really have to. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, okay, so um, do you want me to make it just for your own uh, personal satisfaction? <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, that, I know how players are, believe me. I know. I, 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 like, I've, I've seen a mob with uh, a monster with one hit point, and, I, and I'm like, oh, you don't need to roll damage, you hit. And the player's like, how dare you say that to me? <laughs> uh oh, I think we just okay, lost so somebody. She's still prone. But she succeeds. Oh, we she lost succeeds Yag. from being prone, but she's prone. Oh, we lost Yag. Bite into it's, her. It's, oh, no. it's his turn. No. 